the one more very very important theorem that is actually to find out area of the triangle so that means actually here see this problem the area of the triangle formed by the lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 and lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 is given by n square root of h square minus ab whole divided by mod of am square minus 2hlm plus bl square. So, this will be very useful for competitive entrance examinations as well as this is very very important from all board examinations of 10 plus 1 and 10 plus 2 examinations. So, let us solve this theorem now. Let us prove it now. So, now how to prove means first of all let us consider the separate equations of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 b l1x plus m1y is equal to 0 and l2x plus m2y is equal to 0. Obviously, these two lines passes through the origin that means point of intersection of these two lines is, is origin 0 comma 0. Now, we need to find out the point of intersection of the l1x plus m1y is equal to 0 and this lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 so that we get uh, one of the vertices. And similarly, the second equation and the next lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 so is to be solved so as to get uh, the third vertex already 0 comma 0 the one of the vertices we have for example the first e the point of intersection of first equation and lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 be x1 comma y1 the whereas x2 comma y2 be the point of intersection of the second line that is l1x plus m1y is equal to 0 and lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 as we know the three vertices of the triangle that is 0 comma 0 and x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y1 then the area of the triangle easily we can find out that is delta is given by of modulus of x1 y2 minus x2 y1 that means here the one question will ar arise in our mind that means we need to find x1 and y1 and x2 y2 in terms of l1 m1 and l m n and we need to convert them so with refer in accordingly the given pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So, that means this kind of strategy is to be followed in order to prove this theorem. So, let us start the, the proof of the theorem now. The proof follows like this here let a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 represents represents two lines that means two separate lines as follows as follows one is say l1 x plus m1 y equal to 0 say equation 1 second equation is to say l2 x plus m2 y equals to 0 so that means if this first equation and second equation are the individual equations of a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0, we have this is very very important concept already we have discussed L 1 into L 2 equals to this A. L 1 L 2 equal to A and L 1 M 2 plus L 2 M 1 is equal to 2 h and m1 m2 equals to b. Next this is the given equation, given equation is lx plus my plus n is equal to 0, say equation 3. Now, so that means we get like this let us say consider the coordinate axis x and x dash y and y dash this will be the origin. 
So that means the ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 represents two lines which pass through the origin. That means the point of intersection of these two lines is origin. So that means obviously we get the two lines like this. This is the third line, given line this is. Say this point is A, say x1 comma y1. So this is B point, say x2 comma y2. Obviously, these coordinates are 0 comma 0. Am I correct now? Now, we need to find out x1 comma y1. How will you get x1 comma y1? Just very simple, by solving equation 1 and equation 3. You can say this is equation 1, this is 3, this is 2. So, let us solve 1 and 3 to get the point of intersection that is A whose coordinates are x1 comma y1 so that the coordinates of x1 comma y1 can be evaluated. So, now solving solving 1 and 3 1 and 3 we get A. So, that means the first equation is L1 x plus M1 y equal to 0. Third equation is L x plus M y plus n is equal to 0, say equation 2. So, in order to solve this one, we just adopt the method that is called cross multiplication method. So, let us adopt the cross multiplication method to solve these two linear equations. So, that can be done now. Here we can write M1 m1 here constant is 0 and l1 m1 right on l1 m1. So, in the similar manner here mn lm right on x here y1. So, now we can write x divided by x divided by the determinant of this 2 by 2 square matrix that is n m n minus 0 that means you get n m 1 equals to y divided by determinant of this matrix now 0 minus n l 1. So, 1 divided by the determinant of this one that whose value equal to m l 1 minus l m 1 m l 1 minus l m 1 l m 1. So, now from this we get you can say this one no problem x 1 better you say like this x 1 y 1. So, x 1 and y 1 x 1 equal to n m 1 into 1 n m 1 by m l 1 minus l m 1 and y 1 is equal to do you expect the y 1 value? Yes, why not? The we can write the y 1 value whose value equal to y 1 equals to here minus n l 1 by m l 1 minus l m 1. That means the coordinates of a have been evaluated here. Let us write x1 comma y1 values here. So, a of x1 comma y1 equal to a of we get n m1 by m l1 minus l m1 comma minus n l1 by m l1 minus l m1. Now, similarly, could you expect the coordinates of b x2 comma y2? Why not? So, instead of 1, you just replace 2, that is all. So, similarly, similarly, we get b coordinates that is nothing but b of x2 comma y2 equals to b of now just imagine what you get it. So, that will be n of m 2 by 
एम एल टू माइनस एल एम टू कामा माइनस एन एल टू बाई एम एल टू माइनस एल एम टू ओके सो इन दस वे एक्चुअली वील गेट इट सो नेक्स्ट नाउ सो नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल formed by the vertices 0 comma 0 x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 so let us write the formula area of delta is equal to you can say area of triangle oab from the coordinate geometry that is the basic coordinate geometry we can write that is equal to half mod x1 y2 Minus x to y one. You need to remember this one. This is very very important. It plays major role. So now, let us substitute it. Of mod of the x one value. X one is nothing but n m one. N m one by m l one minus l m one multiplied by y two. What is y two? Y two means minus n l two by m l two minus l m two. So minus n l two by m l two minus l m two. Here we have minus symbol, and x two. X two is n m two n m two by Yam L two minus L M two into okay. Now we can write y one. So what is the value of y one? You just check it there. Minus N L one by Yam L one minus L M one. So bracket and also modulus right down here. Minus L N one. By m l one minus l m one. So now let us take the simplification. We need to do now. Half mod of here l c m is m l one minus l m one multiplied by m l two minus l m two. So next minus n square l two m one and minus into minus plus l one m two n square. So now so now here this step we can take out n square common. This is half modulus of n square common. We get. L one M two minus L two M one. Okay. Divided by. So let us multiply these two. M L one M L two. That is L one L two M square. You can write. L one L two M square. Correct. Here M L one. Minus L M two, that is minus L M L one M two, minus L M L one M two. Okay. Next, in the similar manner, this is also the minus L M L two M one, minus L M L two M one. And next, minus into minus plus. That is actually we have m one m two l square. M one m two l square. Just prior simplification. We need to do it. So very carefully we need to do. Half modulus of. So n square. This can be. This is in the form of a minus b. So a minus b we can write square root of a plus b whole square minus 4ab we can write it. We have that basic formula. So 
formula I will write it here for example a minus b is there that we can write root of a plus b whole square minus 4ab you can check this formula also. So that means L1 M2 minus L2 M1 we can write root of A stands for L1 M2 B stands for L2 M1. So we can write L1 plus M2 plus L2 M1 whole square minus 4 times this into this means L1 L2 write down as a product of two terms and M1 M2 write as a other product of the two terms that we can write. 4 L1 L2 M1 M2. So, this is for our convenience divided by this is L1 L2 M square L M common. So, minus of L1 M2 plus L2 M1 L M plus M1 M2 L square. Just check it now. Okay, you might have understood this step now. Here you need to recall what is L1 L2, what is N1 M2 plus L2 M1 and what is M1 M2. L1 L2 is nothing but A, L1 M2 plus L2 M1 is equal to 2H, M1 M2 is equal to B that is all. These three values are to be replaced. So, that we will get the area of the triangle of OAB that is n square root of h square minus AB by AM square minus 2HLM plus BL square. So, let us see here. Now, L1 L2 is equal to A, L1 M2 plus L2 M1 equal to 2H, M1 M2 is equal to B. So, we have discussed the earlier stage itself only this for them. So, substituting of modulus of this is L1 M2 plus L2 M1 whole square that will be 2H whole square you get N square square root of 4H square minus this is A this is B 4AB divided by so this is nothing but A so, A m square this is nothing but 2 h minus 2 h l m are you following plus m 1 m 2 is b. So, that is b l square. Now, take 4 common square root of 4 is 2. So, this becomes now of mod of 2 n square root of h square minus a b by a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square this 2 2 gets cancelled. So, what is the final answer you get like this because n square is always positive root of h square minus a b is also positive. So, you need not put the mod sign for that one better the mod sign will be transferred to the denominator. So, this can be written n square root of h square minus a b by modulus of a m square a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square. So, this is the area of the triangle. Okay.